This voice is an AI voice created by collecting the voices of employees of Samsung Electronics DS. Samsung Foundry presented a paper on EUV minimum pitch single patterning at the 2022 International Interconnect Technology Conference. Along with our technical blog articles, this video helps to explain the concepts and benefits of EUV minimum pitch single patterning. We'll start with an introduction to photolithography. What is photolithography? Similar with a camera, photolithography uses light and lenses to capture and print an object. In semiconductor manufacturing, complex patterns are printed in a small area by shining light through a mask. Since there are limitations to create and use a mask with small patterns, a mask is created with patterns at a larger scale, and lenses are used to refract the light coming through the mask to create accurate, smaller patterns. Photolithography uses photoresist PR to create patterns. PR changes its structure when exposed to light. PR is first applied on the material, and then exposed to light through a mask. There are two types of PR. With a positive PR, light degrades the PR and the exposed areas are etched away. With a negative PR, light hardens the PR and only the exposed areas remain after etching. Photolithography has many challenges from using light. One challenge is distortion caused by diffraction and interference. As light passes through a mask, Diffraction and interference prevents the pattern from being created properly. There are several methods to overcome the limitations from using light. Multiple patterning technology is the use of multiple masks and process steps to create a single pattern. In figure A, patterning is carried out by using four slits on a single mask. Unfortunately, the resulting pattern is corrupted since the slits are too close to each other. With MPT, two masks are used to create the pattern. As shown in figures B and C, the four slits are divided into pairs with a wider space between slits. By patterning with two masks and steps, light interference and distortion are avoided, and we can successfully create a clean pattern. Optical Proximity Correction OPC, is used to adjust mask patterns. During the photo and etching steps, the inherent properties of light can cause some patterns on a wafer to be thicker or thinner than the mask pattern. In severe cases, patterns may either completely disappear or merge with adjacent patterns. OPC is used to add or remove shapes on a mask to compensate for these patterning errors. As pattern dimensions continue to shrink, MPT and OPC are insufficient to solve light distortion issues. We need to use light with a shorter wavelength. Light with shorter wavelengths have higher energy so the degree of diffraction and spread are reduced. Reducing wavelength to create a finer pattern is similar to using a thinner brush to draw a finer line. Photolithography technology has advanced over time through the use of light with shorter and shorter wavelengths. AERF, with a wavelength of 198 nanometer, is no longer able to pattern efficiently for the latest process notes. Extreme ultraviolet EUV technology, with a wavelength of 13.5 nanometer, has emerged as the lithography solution for 7 nanometer and below process nodes. Unfortunately, UV is not as easy to deploy as AERF, while AERF light comes directly from a laser. UV light is created by first shooting a CO2 laser at falling tin to generate plasma. The light from the plasma is then focused, using mirrors to produce UV light. A downside to using shorter wavelengths is that the light is easily absorbed while passing through air and lenses. The UV lithography process solves these issues by operating with mirrors in a vacuum. Minimizing light absorption is crucial to providing sufficient light for PR patterning. What about absorption by the mask? Unlike a conventional mask with areas that either transmit or block light, the mask for the UV process is made up of areas that either reflect or absorb light. Let's now summarize the operation of UV lithography with this diagram. First, UV light is generated by hitting tin with a CO2 laser and focusing the plasma with mirrors. The UV light is then reflected through mirrors to the mask. The light pattern is then focused and reflected multiple times to reduce the pattern size before it arrives at the PR on the wafer. The major differences between AERF and UV photolithography are the light source for AERF is a laser, while EUV is generated from plasma. AERF uses lenses while EUV uses mirrors. And finally, AERF masks transmit or block light while UV masks reflect or absorb light. 
UV technology makes it possible to replace or reduce the use of MPT, since it can pattern thin patterns with a single mask and single photolithography process. UV reduces cost through the reduction of masks, process steps, and processing time with fewer process steps. UV also reduces cost by improving yield. As there are fewer steps, the chance of defects caused by contamination is reduced. Although the base UV technology has provided many benefits, Samsung Foundry continues to explore ways to more efficiently utilize UV for semiconductor manufacturing. Please visit our website and follow our social media to keep updated on our innovations.